Yo, what's up everybody? It's Manga Mike here and in today's video we're going to be concluding my uh, study of My Hero Academia and my study of Bakugo in particular. My first point is why am I doing it this way? So um, I'm sure that you've seen a lot of videos of a lot of people who typically reproduce like a particular style and a lot of those videos they'll do like a um, like a front facing uh, you know study or something like that and um, or you know some people will try to copy or what have you um, so the reason why I'm doing it this way is because there's a difference between doing a observation study and doing something on model um, and when you're doing an observation study it's fantastic because it helps you learn different skills it helps you learn the skill of where the facial features are placed uh, it helps you learn like how to draw something in a particular view and it also will help you learn kind of like uh, you know the structure and the um, shading that has to go with a particular view as well uh, and, and that is extremely useful and it's also something like observation studies help you with angles and proportions and things like that too so those are all the positives of that but making something on model is a little bit different it helps with different things uh, and the reason why I am doing it this way is because um, I want to be able to reproduce characters' faces in different views and have them look at least like, I think they say if it's like 80% the same, then people don't notice. So that's like my goal is to make it close enough that people don't notice any of the small, uh, subtle mistakes that could be in a face. So um, that's kind of why I'm doing that. And why is it important to make something on model? So. Uh, the biggest reason really is consistency, but if you want to create a comic and if you want it to, want it to be published by somebody else and you're not just self-publishing, that's one thing that they're going to look at is your ability to reproduce a, your characters in different views and have them look the same throughout your story. Um, and the other part of that is also you don't want your readers to be confused as to which characters are which. So one thing that does help with that without you even really having to draw the character in a specific view in a specific way um, is like small details like for instance do they have a scar like Bakugo's big thing is like he has super spiky hair right um, and then when he even gets his costume on he has these things that like are like really like explosive looking like I've talked about before um, in previous videos and that helps you immediately recognize that it's Bakugo even if his face is like distorted or slightly off or something like that right um, so that will also help with the consistency piece throughout your comic or your manga and it will help it help your readers not be confused um, so that's why it's important and that's why I'm practicing it because that's something that I really struggle with um, so what kind of things can you learn from studying how to put something on model and studying somebody else's uh, particular style and putting their style on model as, po or as best as you possibly can? So you get to learn about their, uh, what things that they omit and what things that they include. Now, if you haven't seen my previous videos, please go back and watch some of those because it's it's really important to have a general knowledge about like the structure of the face and things of that nature before uh, you really understand this piece. So, I don't know if y'all really caught it, but I was struggling a lot with the nose, and right now I'm kind of struggling, or not maybe not right this second, but in a little bit I'm going to be struggling with the eyes and. Um, one thing that I did actually was I added a nostril and then I erased it because I wanted to make sure that the nose would look correct in the way that I typically draw the nose, right? Um, so in that I learned how to omit a specific part of the nose in order to make a more simplified looking nose. Personally, I'm never going to draw my noses that way. I don't particularly like it. But it is important to do um, just to try to study things and you don't know if you're not going to like it if you don't try it. So um, that's one thing. Um, and then you also get to see what artists do include. Um, so why are they making a stylistic choice to 
for instance, include the bottom lip or to include, I don't know, like the uh, eye folds or something like that. So in this particular circumstance, one of the things that's included is the bottom lip, for instance. Um, I think that that is important because it gives you a sense of volume in the mouth region that you would normally not have. Um, and it also gives you a small part of contrast within the face uh, because without it, really there's no like, there's no real understanding of Bakugo's face without some of these subtle hints as to what things are actually uh, kind of in and what things are out, um, you know, and what things are in the shade, what things aren't, and it makes it look really flat if you're not careful. Um, the other thing is like, for instance, eye sockets and stuff like that, so the shading for that is super important too, um, and that's something that, uh, that was included within Bakugo's artwork is that there is shading underneath the like eyebrow region and things of that nature. Um, so that's that's another thing and that's how you learn and pick up different styles as you look at what they are including and what they aren't I mean, no, sorry what they're including and what they're omitting um, and then you get to make a decision based on what you have kind of seen and learned from each artist to see which things that you actually like so um, and being able to apply them on model yourself or your own characters is, you know the next step of that um, so the last or the second to last thing that I wanted to talk about before I wrap this up is actually the last minute edits off screen I actually took his right eye and pulled it back just a little bit more because it felt a little bit close to me so in my thumbnail the the Bakugo that I drew looks slightly different and that's why um, and I also just made some slight changes to colors and stuff like that but nothing big um, so I did want to say that um, and then the last thing is uh, I am going to continue to do this kind of series for a little while. Um, I'm probably going to do maybe three, three or four more styles, and then once I'm done with those three or four styles, then I'll, I'll, I'll stop this series for for now and I'll move on to something else. But regardless, I really do hope that you enjoyed the video, and hopefully you are learning something from this series because I'm learning a ton and I'm having a great time doing it. So, anyways, I'm Manga Mike, and I'm out.